friends, welcome back to Broadmoor Kids. We're so excited to spend time with you this week during Advent and just continue to talk about Christmas. So this week, I want to know, what did you ask for for Christmas? Hey, guess what, guys? <gasps> Present time! How did you know that's what I wanted? Well, I tried to find some things you would like. I did email you a list. So that makes sense. <laughs> you always have a list. Do y'all have an Amazon list? Because she's got one. Even for Rosemary. Who's five months old? Well, she needs socks. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, guys, what do we think is in here? All right. <gasps> Sounds like checkers to me. Gobstoppers. Yay! A the Grunch. And then... <laughs> No, it wasn't on your list, but this it might. The, I think it's on Luke's list. Sure, because he it's loves the original game. game of Pass the Pig's History. Hmm. Have you ever gotten a gift you didn't ask for? I didn't know what to do with. Anyways, so in the story of Christmas, where we learn about the birth of Jesus, we hear the story about three wise men who brought Jesus three gifts. Stay tuned. Let's hear the story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus and the Wise Men. This is Jesus. Julia! Jesus is the Son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. <laughs> His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hey Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset. Ah. As was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah. Not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha. So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the king of the Jews' star first appeared. Oh, God! And then King Herod told the wise men, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. Woohoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello! Oh, look! Wow! And they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait! They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was, but God told them to go home a different way. So they did. And then an angel appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up! The angel told Joseph to go to Egypt with Mary and Jesus because Herod was looking to kill Jesus. That very night, Joseph left for Egypt with Jesus and Mary. They stayed in Egypt until Herod was gone, and it was safe for them to go home to Israel. <laughs> when they returned, an angel warned them about the new ruler of Judea, who was Herod's son. This way. So Joseph and his family went to the region of Galilee and found their new home in the town of Nazareth. Look good? Yep. We'll take it where Jesus would grow up and eventually do all the amazing things God had planned for him to do. Guys, what an incredible story about how three men 
um, risk it all to go honor Jesus when he was born. Now let's sing this Christmas song about peace and reflect on who Jesus is. You know, Jesus brings so many things to us. Joy, peace, hope, I mean, happiness, everything, just think about that. But we were just talking about this is our last recording for this year. And when we look back over the year 2021, I don't know about y'all, it has been very busy, crazy, happy, sad. Think of every word you can think of. It's what's happened in 2021. But the thing that I can tell you that I can say beyond the shadow of a doubt is that no matter what happens, Jesus is always there. And if you're sad, he's there to comfort you. If he's happy, I mean, if you're happy, he's there to rejoice with you. Whatever is happening, he's always there. And that's what he brings to us. So anytime you think about, gosh, this has been a hard year, a good year, a fun year, a sad year, or all of those things rolled together, I just want you to remember that you are never alone because of Jesus. You know, we seem to be going backwards in the Bible. We started in Luke 3, then Luke 2, and now we're in Matthew. But the cool part about it is the Gospels tell us a wonderful several wonderful versions of what happened. But this one is actually found in Matthew, the second chapter, verse 11, which is the first book of the New Testament. And it goes like this. They saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they fell down and worshiped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. 
What well, example is that setting for us? Well, one thing I that I thought was really interesting about this story was how far the wise men traveled Absolutely. to bring Jesus their gifts. Sometimes I can barely manage to follow GPS to get around town. In this town where I've lived for longer than you've been alive. Um, I'm not sure how these men followed a star in the sky to bring these precious right. gifts to a, a baby they'd never met, that they didn't, they didn't know personally, it wasn't their, their nephew or their niece or their cousin. This was just someone they had rumored, to, they had heard rumors about. And I think that just speaks volumes about how important Christ is and was to them at the time and how they risked it all to just lavish these gifts to Jesus. Because if you do any kind of research at all, they were very expensive gifts. Oh yeah. And you know, and they gave them away mm -hmm. to the Christ child. So I guess the big question is, what gifts do we have to bring to Jesus? I'm gonna have to ponder that one till next year. I want you to think about it. What what gifts do you have that you can give back? And I don't mean like things. You have specific things that God's gifted you with. Maybe you can sing or dance or read or uh, play sports or whatever, but all of the things that we're able to do, we need to give them back to Jesus so that we can glorify Him because He's our Creator and He's the one that made us the way we are. So, you want to close this in prayer? Well, before we pray, I have one more thing to remind you about. <gasps> I forgot. So, this week is Christmas. But oh, and we get to have the Christmas. We get to have our annual Christmas Eve services. So this year at 3 o'clock at Broadmoor Methodist, we're going to have our kids' Christmas service in the sanctuary. So we're going to have a live nativity set up where you'll get to dress up and be a part of the nativity story. She doesn't mean that we're going to have animals in the sanctuary. <laughs> what we mean is we're going to have costumes. If you want to dress up as a wise man, you get to be the animals. You get to be in, the, <laughs> in it with us. And it is on Christmas Eve. On Christmas Eve, yes. December 24th. So bring your entire family, come dress up, have some hot cocoa, and just worship the King of Kings with us. We would love for you to come join us. Can you close us in prayer? I'd love to. Dear God, we thank you so much for the greatest gift of all, and that is Jesus. Let us never forget how much he loves us, and just gives us joy as we move forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, friends. See you next year.